Hello, YouTube viewers. Welcome back to Let's Play Darksiders. Mr. Math here. And it is time to proceed. Now I'm going to call up Ruin. And have a quick canter around the place. And look, one of those big guys. Come on, get back up. I can get him. There we go. Oh, wow. One of those. Oh man, there's a lot of things here. A couple of big things. I'm kind of enjoying this actually. Um, how many more hits can these guys take? When I'm on ruin here, my sword is really strong. Oh, that gets rid of that guy. And there we go. And time to talk to Samael. You. One more. Just one more. And then more. You get your tower. Silitha's web-infested lair is far across the great chasm in the Ashlands. Ruin has yet to regain much of his strength, but he will make the distance. As for Silitha, just get there, and she'll find you. The Broodmother is a collector of sorts. Most who enter her realm, she feeds to her young, the one she takes an interest in. <laughs> ah, those are the unlucky ones, those she keeps alive, and they can live a long time, long enough to tell her things. You could say she collects stories, information. What stories will she tell me about you, Samael? <laughs> Careful, or your ending will be a tragic one. Sometimes the hero dies in the end. But Horseman, I like stories that have a happy ending. <laughs> now bring me the final heart. That's a good question, though. I mean... Only a complete fool would think that Samael is being completely straight with us. And whatever else war might be, he's no fool. Now this. I think at this point the developer kind of ran out of ideas. Because if you were paying attention a few videos back, you know where we need to use this. The thing is, that's the only place in the entire game where it can where it exists only that one place pretty much everything else in the game including the uh, next tool that we're going to get in Silitha's lair has multiple uses throughout the game but that ability by ruin to cross special chasms only one use in a single place and that's it What 
to ask of this humble merchant? We need to use the serpent hole to go back to and not there because that's where we fought the Stygian. We need to go here. Now it has occurred to me that over here in the choking grounds there is a there's a blue crystal and a red crystal both that I haven't destroyed yet. I mentioned it I showed it to you. I showed you that place way 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 back near the beginning of the let's play. There's a building in the choking grounds with several levels and to get to each subsequent level you have to have the next ability if you take my meaning so in order to get up to the next floor beyond where we were able to go we needed to have the cross blade so that we could destroy some of those red crystals with a sticky bomb which we could do and then to get to the next level above that, we need to be able to destroy a blue crystal, which, again, we can do. So, there's stuff there in the choking grounds that I haven't been going back to. And normally I would, but uh, for now I'm going to leave it... It's going to be a little while before I go there to finish up that building. Simply because, you know, I don't really feel like backtracking that often to the same place. But anyway, we have to go back to the Ashlands and go further on with that new ability that Ruin just gained. Yeah, this time, there really isn't a lot of extra stuff to do between the two uh, dungeons. You know, normally, I get a new ability from one of the dungeons, and I can go around to lots of different places to make use of it. Not this time, though. Having Ruin doesn't really change all that much, at least not yet. Get up there. Okay. Let's try approaching it. Come on. I know you can get up there. I've done it in previous playthroughs. Yeah. There we go. Okay, there's a little bit of tight maneuvering. So yeah, this is the only place in the entire game where we use this ability. We'll need to go... Uh, we'll need to go through here at least twice. Once to get in and another time to get out. I don't think I ever have... I don't think I ever have to actually go back there. I think I can clear out the entire area in one pass. I'm just hoping that uh, I don't forget anything, because it takes a long time to get here. And you're, you can see we're already starting to see spider webs. And let's see. I remember there being demon horse riders in this area. Yeah. Well, I guess not for now. Probably not until after we destroy Silitha.
So, what have we here? A cutscene of some sort. Ah. Okay, I have to say, I don't really buy that those little spiders could have so easily captured war like that. We'll encounter quite a few of them here in the area, and they are not tough enemies. And let's see. So up ahead there, you that uh, big orange seal, that's our destination. But it's going to be a rather twisted path to get there. I like this dungeon. This is a really well-made dungeon. I mean, it, it... It twists around and... You have to revisit areas several times. And see that? Yeah, I mean, look at that. That's one of the little spiders that captured him, and I just... I, I quite literally stomped it like a bug, because that's what it is. And... You know, more of those grappling hook points. Well... Yeah, that's the uh, item we're getting here in Silitha's Lair, which has been a long time coming. Yeah, what is it now, Navi? Doesn't look like you can do anything against tall, dark, and gruesome yet. Best to avoid it for now. If you say so. Okay. Now... Okay, good. So! There's some little spiders down there. Now, um... <laughs> yeah, I just... It kind of strains my suspension of disbelief to think that those little spiders could have caught war. <laughs> but, uh... It got us to the best dun... It, I... Yeah, I'd have to say, this really is my favorite dungeon in the game. Twilight Cathedral is number two. Uh, okay, so. Obviously, I don't want to go underneath that thing at normal speed, so. So, uh, yeah, you missed me. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty much immune to anything right now. Come on, get the blood. There we go. Now, this demon growth here is to get back up. We don't need to use it to get down. But, uh... We can't actually get back up yet. Yet. Now let's see. Yeah, see that grappling hook point up there? 
Because there's a treasure chest up there. But it's out of our reach for the time being. Oh, these things again. When there's only one, they don't give me any. nothing else here so all I have to do is go across this bridge all there is to do is go across this bridge and that doesn't sound good does it yep another one-way trip just like we couldn't get back up that demon growth now we can't get back across that bridge and we could go over there but all that's over there is a locked door go. Yeah, the uh, glove is better for destroying those things than either Chaos Eater or the side. And let's see. Oh dear. souls for that one. Huh. That doesn't... I don't need a wrath chest right now. And look, free healing. <laughs> I really like doing that, just... Stomp on them like the bugs they are. It's just fun. I'm hearing some kind of squishy chittering, like one of those spiders is nearby. Hmm. Now, um, obviously, what I have to do now is get the um, key for that door. That eyeball key. <laughs> oh, they fell down. Where are they coming? Up. Oh, that's where they're coming. <laughs> that's just so much fun. those up there. Yep, I can get them. And how are they going to get down here? Oh, that's how they're going to get down here. Okay. Let's 
see if I can get that thing. And it's too far away. Okay. All right then. Let's get out Mercy. There we go. And stomp, 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 <laughs> stomping bugs. And that attracted their attention, so more bugs to stomp. Hooray! Where are they? Oh. Okay. Boy, that's that attracted a lot of attention. How are they getting up here? Well, half of them didn't. Where is it going? Um, Where is it? It fell down there, and it didn't die, because if it had, I would have gotten souls for it. Okay. That kind of surprised me, actually. The way they just fell right on top of me like that. There is one over there, I can see it. Oh, fine. Ah. More are coming some distance and see where they come from this time. Ah, there they are. Okay. Oh, look, there's some more down there. They seem to be stuck. Am I not getting them or something? And there we go. For some reason, I just can't get to. Hmm. There we go. Okay, what does this do? I have honestly forgotten what exactly what that does. Oh! Well. That's gonna come in handy. I knew that there was a chronosphere in here somewhere. I just couldn't remember exactly where it was. Or how to, you know, call it out, so to speak. go across that hanging girder, but if I go at normal speed, it'll tilt so quickly that it just dumps me back off. Up. 
Okay. Now, here we go. Same, same thing as before, only this time I want to tilt the girder high enough so that I can get up to the top level. Oop. Well, phooey. I pushed the jump button a split second too late. Time to try this again. Let's try to do better this time, shall we? Um, this is kind of not good. the key. Just as we all knew would be there. <laughs> so, time to use that key. Let's uh, go to the waypoint. And did I lose anything? No, I didn't. I still have the uh, key. And I didn't lose any health, so... Okay, that was a bit clumsy of me, I suppose. I'll have to do better this time. Several hours in and I'm still not entirely used to the controls. Well, we are now at the 30 minute mark, or pretty close to it, so I have to cut the video here. And you know what? The, this really is a good place to stop, so yeah, I'm going to cut the video here, and thanks for watching, viewers. I will see you next time on Let's Play Darksiders as we continue our ways through Silitha's lair. See you then.